Time now for Sit Six Zero. This is where I get 60 seconds to talk about anything. Yep. The Amazon Prime documentary, All or Nothing on the Leafs, was released last week. I saw it. Here's what I took away from it. Sheldon Keefe is a lot tougher than people give him credit for, to the point where his relationship with Austin Matthews is worth watching this season. I also thought Keefe's speech before overtime of Game 6 in Montreal was one of the most passionate things I've ever seen. Jason Spetz is a really important member of this team. He's vocal. Morgan Riley really loves being a member of the Maple Leafs. Jack Campbell might be one of the nicest guys in the history of hockey. Matthews, Marner, and Nylander are not at all vocal in that dressing room. Not good. And finally, the Leafs were gutted at what happened this past spring against Montreal. When I was done watching it, my main thought was this. Time to turn the page. New year, kind of a new group. Time to move on, Leaf fans, to yet another season where it is indeed all or nothing. <laughs> Trying to be dramatic there at the end. Steve Dangle of the SDPN and Sportsnet joining us. Steve, it's great to see you, man. Um, you did great there. Really? Because it went over like a lead balloon in this room, but God bless you. No, I liked it. Thank you. Uh, Were your takeaways similar? What, what did I miss there? What did you disagree with? Uh, no, I, I think you nailed it. Sheldon Keefe was definitely uh, the, the rock star of the documentary. And, God, I have such an appreciation for Jason Spezza and his dad. Yes. Like, that's just a Leafs fan whose kid plays for the Leafs. There's nothing better. So good. Outstanding. Um, so have you turned, I mean, Steve Dangle, it's tough to turn the page if you're Steve Dangle because I know you a little bit and have seen your work. Um, is it time for Leaf fans to just kind of, all right, listen, it's, it's a new season. There's, there's a lot of challenges here. You got Tampa back in the division. Boston's back in the division. Time to compartmentalize that. Well, I, I keep saying that the Leafs can't make up for last year until the spring because the regular season, like I, they finished first in the division last year and it meant nothing. So who cares? So they can't make up for it until the spring. But the spring is forever away and I can't live my life like that. And I don't think Leaf fans should live their life like that. You never know what's going to happen. The Blue Jays run was magical. Uh, I, I'm excited to have the Raptors back in the city. Uh, let's give the Leafs yet another mulligan, and we'll see how they do uh, this year, because you can't live in the past, you know? Uh, yes, but no one does it better than you. You are the best at living in the past. As, sure as brutal a history as that is, you are a skilled individual, and we love you for it. 30 seconds. Are you concerned with the fact Austin Matthews and his wrist might not be ready for opening night next Wednesday? No, not at all. Uh, that guy played through a busted wrist all last season, and he scored at a pace that no Leaf ever has before. He is a mutant, and he'll be just <laughs> fine. <laughs> Stevie, uh, we love you from Sports at SDPN. Uh, watch all his stuff. If you're not if you're not consuming Steve Dangle, you're not doing Leafs right. Steve, have a great day, friend. Thanks for getting up today. Thanks for having me. You got a woo. Just so you know, you got a woo in the room. It's a rare woo at, for this segment. Good on you, Steve Dangle, the one and only. Two thumbs Proud. up. <laughs> Leafs open up the season this coming Wednesday. Final preseason game tomorrow night against the Sens. All right, it's Thanksgiving weekend, folks. It's been a minute here. We've been through some stuff. What are you thankful for? in 2021 as we walk into Thanksgiving weekend across the country. 1-866-267-3797. Feedback at breakfasttelevision.ca, at Breakfast TV on Twitter, 24-7. Let us know what you're thinking. It's a long weekend. It's a holiday weekend. It's 645 Toronto. It's Friday. Let's put a smile on our face. Turkey, turkey this weekend. This is BT.